Hey, it's Uncle Chubbs. I'm just gonna make a short video, kind of as like an introduction to what this planet of Demai, the world of Demai, is actually about. Um, it's more or less a planet based off of our planet Earth. It's similar in size. Actually, it's only slightly bigger. Um, what I mean slightly, it is several thousand kilometers bigger, but to a more universal galactic scale, it's not that much bigger. Um, just like our universe, it's what you would call put into the Goldilocks area. It's at a solar system it's in, like other standard planets, so it's not a secluded, isolated world. There's possible other planets people could even explore, observe, or other things like that. There's actually a whole study of this universe within this planet. We'll go into that a little bit more later. Now, this planet also has similar seasons like our planet. <laughs> My bad. Um, it has four seasons depending on where you're at. Some places only have one, maybe two, depending on geographically speaking. Um, it also has more than one moon or satellites comparatively to our planet. Now the reason being is one, well, a couple of them are natural but after a certain period of time there's actually a tradition of where people that are capable of creating and moving mass amounts of earth would form a new moon in a sense as a tradition or ceremony and achievement and a new time. Uh, we'll talk about that more later. Now about this planet it's more water like than land comparatively kind of like our planet. It actually with history it used to be different and it's always up to change depending on who, what, and why it would do that. There's multiple reasons and causes depending on who and what, which we can always get into that another time. Like I said, this is only an introduction video, so we'll always go into more later. Um, this is just kind of to give you guys a more of a feel of what I'm going to be going into. Um, like, anything you see around your area is in this world someplace somewhere it's just had uh, more or less possible like i said um this world is similar so a lot of things are gonna be not taken but used um like for example my area is kind of like a temperate zone we have all four seasons so i have created at least a couple countries based off of the similar weather and plants and wildlife um not taking it directly so there's nothing geographically the same or size wise or even actually how severe the seasons are but there's also other places that are based off of other regions that i have heard of would like to visit study etc um those places are also based in here and we also have places within other worlds that are also based in here. Just, I mean, everything is very similar when it comes to creating a habitable world. There's, I mean, not saying you're limited to doing certain things, but there's only so much you can do before you become a unhabitable place. Which, in this world, we do have man-made ter uh, territories or pretty much regions and upon where habitats are formed, and we also have your natural and unnatural forms, things that are formed from spirits and things that are just naturally occurring. Now, the thing about that is that more or less can be said how it happens on our planet. Now, with our planet, we have a wide variety of things that people don't even understand that we have, but... With this planet, hopefully they can learn more about ours. Which is not the general goal, but it would also be like very nice to have. I like when people can understand something and then relate it to other things to even understand them further. And that was the more or less design for this planet. 
anything was possible with it, and so I try to make that as the thing that's visible. Anything can happen, anything will happen. This place is safe, but not safe. All you have to do is know what you're doing, know what's around, and all that yumminess. Well, we'll go into another video with more detail on what the planet actually has and does. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll be posting more soon.